Hi friends, so this is an NPTEL course on risk-based engineering and um, we are discussing system reliability modeling and in system reliability modeling there is a very important uh, consideration and that is a common cause uh, failure consideration. Um, why I am saying uh, it is very important because uh, to ensure higher level of safety uh, the plants are provided with uh, uh, redundant systems. So that means failure of one event or one equipment uh, or one system does not lead to uh, f uh, accident sequence. Um, so um, redundancy ensures that is redundant component they ensure that the first component fail or first system fail the second system is switched in automatically and uh, if second system fails then uh, third system so that kind of redundancy is built depending on the safety system its significance the level of redundancy or even uh, one stage higher that is uh, diversity is also incorporated into, into the plant now uh, common cause failure means uh, knocking off of, uh, all the redundant system due to one common root event and that is something uh, that it knocks off the available re redundant provision in, into the plant. So um, it is very important that the uh, pl in plant we have the uh, we have the provision uh, which uh, provides defenses against the uh, common cause failure. Of course, there is a very good understanding of uh, uh, common cause com uh, failure component and. Uh, and the plant design and operations they ensure that common cause does not uh, impact the plant in an adverse manner but uh, um, and of course the safety analysis also ensures that uh, these uh, redundant provisions they are analyzed and the plant safety is and uh, is proved so uh, but then there is always it's called the residual effect so um, the scope that the common cause events uh, should be uh, reduced to the uh, minimal. The common cause failure analysis uh, is a very special consideration uh, because it has got uh, safety sig significance or risk significant component. Uh, common cause failures are uh, critical to understanding the robustness or resilience available uh, for uh, cascading or shock and instantaneous failure in a redundant system due to a single cause. So this form, this rule forms part of the uh, design, operation, maintenance, everything. Then second aspect is modeling and analysis of common cause failure is one of the critical areas of dependent failure. Uh, dependent failure uh, are external, internal. So similarly common cause also. So sometimes common cause failure is synonymous to uh, the uh, dependent failures. And this dependent failures, as we can see, uh, they can be systematic and they can be random. Systematic it can be, um, let's say there are three redundant pumps. And these pumps have been uh, provided power supply from some source. And uh, uh, even to avoid uh, the, that, you know, the, all the three pumps should not fail due to power supply source. Uh, even though they are independent, um, no com common cause component should affect. But these aspects, they are called systematic. If power supply fails, then pump will fail. Okay, so they are modeled implicitly in the plant. They are called implicit uh, phenomena in the plant, and that's why these events are implicit to the plant. So uh, when I have a fault tree, I'll say uh, pump failure because of power supply failure then a, uh, you know, bus A failure, bus B failure. So they are, uh, they are addressed in the fault tree. There are other events or they are, they can be, uh, uh, they are often called as uh, random event. These events, uh, it can be, they are very rare or they can be even uh, random. It could be the, like, you know, um, every component has got an aleatory uncertainty and uh, uh, epistemic uncertainty. Epistemic is systematic. It can be handled by data, model, methods and all. But random things, they have a scope, uh, even though they are very rare, 
it can happen. So uh, when we model for common cause failure, the uh, implicit as well as explicit modeling uh, should be there in the uh, in the system, uh, so that you know uh, explicit consideration might include. Um, uh, random human error or it could be external error, fire, flood, seismic and all. So these have to be modeled explicitly to rule out the possibilities or even to check that the suppose uh, there, are, there are barriers, fire barriers between two redundant uh, components. Now whether they are sufficient, uh, there, there is no, <coughs> there is no cost or the scenario where they can, be, they, uh, it can knock off the two redundant system. So this form is getting cover, covered uh, in uh, because of this external causes uh, in explicit analysis. And when we have enough knowledge, they are also treated like uh, systematic failure, and they are modeled, uh, you know, in uh, implicitly into the uh, model of the plant. So with this uh, uh, beginning, now let us see uh, what uh, what involves common cause failure. So uh, I. We can see this figure over here. Uh, this figure um, here we have. Um, so there are two uh, elements in common cause failure. One is the root cause that will lead to because we say the definition of common cause says that a single cause or root cause that can knock off the redundant provisions. Okay and. With common cause failure, there is one more aspect which is very specific is that uh, it is a truly common cause failure when the failure is such that they happen instantaneously uh, or in a very short interval of time so that any safety requirements get, get affected. So these are all the associated aspects. Uh, so what, so what uh, how the common cause becomes a reality, a failure becomes a uh, reality. So as we discussed, there are internal uh, reasons, spurious oil, human error, or some supplier supplied some component. So, um, so our design error, this, this, uh, these are called internal. External, external are uh, seismic, fire, flood and all that. And they give, provide a root cause for the event. And event alone would not have caused this failure unless until there was a coupling mechanism. And that coupling mechanism could be increase in humidity or uh, submergence of the equipment or uh, it could be uh, some, uh, some corrosive condition that was happening uh, due to some gases and all. Uh, so they become the cause of the, uh, cause of the failure and they have capability to knock down the redundant provision that is there are three injection pumps if they are there. Uh, here and they can be knocked down because I, either because of it's a power supply failure or it's a bearing failure uh, or it's a uh, it's a you know um, some wall discharge wall or uh, uh, isolation wall failure uh, and they happen in such a manner that they within a short period of time uh, the uh, operation of all the redundant pumps uh, it becomes ineffective so this is the uh, this is brings in a very important aspect uh, of, to, to ensure plant safety. We had uh, we had a redundant and diverse provision, but let's say we say that diverse pro pro provision means uh, two safety system operating on uh, two entirely independent ideas. Like if you want to shut down the system, a gravity drop of uh, devices. And at the same time, we uh, introduce some chemical through say, second system, so we can call it as a uh, independent provision, diverse provision. They operate on different principles. Okay, so uh, if th that is the case, a, how a seismic event can couple? So seismic event event can be a coupling mechanism, a root cause for these two um, independent system to. So uh, at one level, whatever looks independent, at another level it might become a common cause. So that's why this becomes a uh, subject which requires a special attention uh, from the uh, analyst. Now, um, if we look at the IAEA definition of common cause failure, uh, failures of two or more structure systems or component due to a single specific event or cause. We saw that root cause. Uh, 
uh, we normally uh, allow this uh, allocate this, this term as a root cause of failure. Along with common cause failure, there is a common mode failure also. And normally uh, uh, there is a confusion uh, what is common mode. So that's why this definition has been brought over here. Failure of two or more structures is in common cause failure systems or component in the same manner or mode due to a single specific event or cause. CMD is a subset of this thing. Now here you can see that the incident of failure is uh, 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 as far as safety is concerned has only mode has been uh, has been highlighted here. So uh, it could be same mode or it could be different but the failure occurs. So uh, common mode, mode failure is a sub subset of common cause failure. Okay. Uh, so this point is highlighted here, instant and mode of failure of redundant unit is key to understanding of the common cause failure. Common mode failure is a type of common cause failure in which the structure system component fail in same way, although they may not be in the close proximity in terms of instant of failure. So uh, this is how uh, we, uh, for, uh, for starting the uh, discussion we have start define the common cause failure. And uh, what are the defenses available? Uh, I have listed only few. There are many uh, defense provisions on diversity. If there are two safety systems uh, and if it can be built using diverse princi principles, then it, it is more robust than redundancy itself. Okay? So, and they beg each other actually. Uh, physical separation. If there are three pumps which are redundant, injection pump, so there can be a separation between the two or uh, three uh, so that you know uh, the common flood or common fire cannot be uh, cannot affect all the three at a time. Independent location. Sometimes the equipments are located in a manner that the same event or same root cause will not impact the redundant provision. Um, then redundancy of system itself. Uh, how we provide and how we ensure how our operation OM efforts goes into ensuring that thing. Uh, like uh, redundancy uh, may get affected due to um, aging phenomena. So it has to be seen that the aging doesn't, uh, doesn't become uh, a root cause for redundant system failure. Ad adequate, adequate resilience against common cause failure. That has to be, uh, can be uh, analyzed and understood uh, by a quantitative and qualitative analysis. Always quantitative analysis is not, not important, even uh, at philosophical level or at analytical level, uh, this can be. Human factor is one of the consideration in common cause failure and there are peculiar uh, events uh, can happen uh, because of one event, uh, uh, um, redundant provisions are knocked off. So one of the simplest example is uh, oil addition in the pump bearing and if there are, uh, the, there are um, maintenance units and if the same oil or which happen to be spurious oil if it is added into redundant provisions then it can uh, it can cause failures uh, of the redundant provision independent sources of course uh, for uh, to avoid common cause failures the design be, uh, should be such that the power supply schematic control schematic schematic they are independent to the extent possible and there are many so uh, nowadays the common cause failure mechanism is understood very well and there are defense provisions which are existing between control units, between pumps, between uh, you know breakers, electrical breakers, supply buses, uh, they are ensured actually. Now uh, there are, uh, we come to the analytical aspect of the common cause failure. There are um, parametric mo model for common cause failure and the first one we will discuss is single parameter model. And this is called the beta factor model. It, this is one of the most popular model uh, which is used in the analysis of common cause failure. Uh, the beta factor model can be, can be uh, defined as uh, beta is equal to, uh, if we talk in terms of lambda, that is failure rate, the uh, failure due to C, that means common cause, and failure due to common cause, I stands for independence. So total failure. So it is beta is nothing but fraction of uh, fraction of uh, fraction of amount um, 
uh, our ratio of lambda c by uh, qt. So it is a fraction of qt, total qt. So generally a figure of 0 0.1 or less is used in analysis depending on the analyst's confidence, uh, how uh, robust is the system against the common cause failure. And of course, lambda i is called independent failure, lambda c is called common cause failure. These two together, they are called total failure. Um, this was failure definition. If we talk about the independent definition, um, there are m number of uh, components, independent components. So the qm, uh, th this q is nothing but unavailability. So because for two component, uh, out of 10 component, two components can common cause we are concerned, then beta into qt. So this gives a model of beta qm divided by total qt. So uh, this is a beta factor model. Uh, ideally suits two component redundancy. For, for uh, more component redundancy, uh, this becomes uh, conservative. Uh, that means uh, more uh, optimistic uh, estimates you will get actually. So to remove the uh, unnecessary conservatives in the common cause model, uh, the modeling, there are other models that are available. And the second model is called multiple Greek letter MGL model. This model is comprised of three parameter. Beta is there anyways. Uh, um, then uh, delta and gamma. So these three parameters are there. So now let us see if the configuration is two, three, four. Uh, these values uh, have come from the literature and analysts use these values. Okay. Uh, so like beta was 0.1. MGL is a generation of beta factor is a generalization of beta factor model. That means for beta factor models uh, is uh, more uh, effective for two component redundancy. But when the redundancy is more than two, that is three, four, uh, uh, two, three, four or higher, then we have to use the MGL model. Uh, uh, the parameters, as I mentioned. Uh, is uh, gamma, delta, and beta. This has been done to distinguish higher level of redundancy because um, often there are three components or four components in a redundant system. Um, so uh, another feature of MGL model, let us uh, see, is that number of parameters will be one less than the total number of components in the redundant system, H on in the table. So um, one parameter will be less. Uh, we will be cons we will consider there. Um, so two component number of component two. So a MGL model will con consider one parameter that is beta. If there there are three components, then two parameters, and if there are four components, then three parameters. So Accordingly, this model is used. <coughs> For the three parameters in MGL, uh, following heuristics are as, as follows. Conditional probability beta is applicable to the case when the common uh, cause for the shared um, component by one or more additional redundant units. Similarly, for gamma, conditional probability gamma, that uh, that common cause of an item will be shared by two or more and uh, conditional probability of delta will be uh, will be shared by three or more. So what we discussed in the previous slide has been um, spread out is a, is a heuristics or is a model on this slide. Now the MGL model in its generic form uh, one can see here uh, is a very uh, elegant model. So the model is here, the QK, K is the uh, redundancy provision, at, uh, that means it's a combination, that is total options are uh, M and out of which K. So um, uh, QK is equal to 1 upon M minus 1, K minus 1, this is, uh, this is the uh, definition, 1 minus rho k. Rho is a parameter which is a uh, substitute for beta uh, beta and other uh, parameters. 
So pk is equal to 1 and pi i is to 1 multiplication rather i is equal to 1 to k rho i qt. Now depending on 2, 3, 4 uh, we can use the values of uh, k and m uh, and rho and of course uh, we can formulate a for, like, like, let's say uh, for a 2 out of 3 uh, success model equivalent equation for beta factor model for m is equal to 3 we have here q1 is equal to 1 upon 2 1 minus beta qt and then we have uh, q for q2 we have two parameters okay uh, 1 upon 2 1 minus rho 3 rho 1 into rho 2 qt so uh, rho 1 is equal to 1 rho 2 is equal to beta and rho 3 is equal to gamma and that's how q2 works out to be 1 upon 2 beta 1 minus gamma delta qt and q3 is equal to 1 upon 2 1 minus rho 4 q1 q2 th 3 meter 3 parameter 1 less qt and that's how we have q3 is equal to beta gamma into qt so this is the formulation for mgl model here and uh, uh, now one more mod uh, model is there which is uh, again single parameter model it is called alpha factor model the alpha factor mo model also is used ex extensively uh, it envisages development of failure probability from a set of failure ratios and the total component failure probability so consider uh, ccf evaluation is performed k out of m component the equation for alpha factor model is, gi is given as 1 upon combination m minus 1 to k m to k uh, alpha raised to alpha k divided by alpha total. So there is a total value of alpha in the next slide we will see how the alpha is work worked out and then q1, q2 and q3 this have been worked out here and alpha t is nothing but addition of all the alphas that is alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. So let us see here, uh, let us say if you have to write the uh, failure probability uh, for three uh, component redundant system, then QS that is system uh, unavailability is equal to 3 into alpha 1 divided by QT uh, uh, square plus 3 into alpha 2 QT divided by alpha T and plus 3, uh, uh, 3 into alpha 3 divided by qt the square. So this is how we get the equation um, and now uh, the total value which is which works out is um, we have the alpha value the, from the table as 0.95 and then total alpha is 1.06 in the second case. Uh, in the second case here it is 0 0.95 for the second case 0 0.04 0 0.04 and for the third case 0 0.01 and total uh, QS system unavailability is equal to 1.28 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this is the estimate of uh, common cost failure for a redundant system as discussed earlier. Now overview, the common cause failure is internal and external both and the uh, common cause failure fundamentals that also we have discussed. Uh, we have also discussed the design provision or operations provision that exist in the plant um, um, to, uh, which are called defenses against the common cause failure and we discussed common cause failure empirical model that is beta factor model, MGL model and alpha factor model. So these uh, models we have discussed and uh, with this we come to end of this lecture. Thank you.